Would you rather... RJ, do you want to read the first one? Yes, since you've kind of done both in an odd sense. Would you rather work on The Muppet Show or work on Sesame Street? Uh, Jeez, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's, it that's works. We'll call too. it a draw. It's a push. It's fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Paul. Would you rather do, 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 have a crossover? Oh, okay. This one second. Okay. Would you rather have a talking pet penguin or have a talking pet rat? Oh, well, definitely a talking pet rat. <laughs> Good choice. Good choice. That's a no brainer. All, right. <laughs> All right. Next one. Now, uh, would you rather? Have a crossover show, a signing show with Bill Nye, or a, a puppet show with Jeff Dunham. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. I, I don't know. I don't we'll know. call that a push yeah. too. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to skip that one. Are I'm you? Again. <laughs> did you uh, meet Bill at all? Because I mean, it's in, conflated in my head. But obviously, it seemed like you were, it was like Coke and Pepsi. It was Bill Nye and Beekman. Yeah, I did. I met him a couple of times uh, at um, different events. The, um, I don't recall what they were, but yeah, I met him a couple of times. He, he said in the press that his show was better than ours because he's a scientist. And I'm a, what did he call me, an actor? And then he called me a performance <laughs> artist. Um, but I, I've never, I, um, I, I have no comments, neither here nor there. I mean, the more pu more puppet shows and the more science shows we have, the better as far as I'm concerned. Perfect. All right, here's the next one. Would you rather go back in time and have a conversation? Oh, wh why am I having these all out of order? I apologize. Okay, would you rather film an episode of Beekman's World on the ocean floor or film an episode in space? <laughs> well, uh, I think I'm more curious about the ocean floor. Okay. Um, I, I I love swimming. It's my hobby and open water swimming, love swimming in the ocean. So I'd be very tempted to, to, uh, to be on the ocean floor for sure. See one of those lantern fish, you know, all the, the teeth. angler fish. Oh, those things scare me so much. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, would you rather, Go back in time and have a conversation with Buffalo Bob of Howdy Doody fame or have a conversation with Don Herbert. Uh, I think it'd be interesting to talk to Buffalo Bob. Um, I think it was uh, Rufus and Margot Rose who did uh, Howdy Doody, the puppet on the show. And so I'd be interested to talk to him about the puppetry. You know, Don Herbert didn't have very nice things to say about Bill Nye and, and me. He said, I don't know why they have to be funny. So he wasn't a big fan of ours. Uh, yes. Yet, would you like to explain how you how the show paid tribute to him? Well, the two penguins are called Don and Herb, and that was the tribute uh, that the writers came up. And uh, Mark Ritz was one of the puppeteers uh, who operated the penguin puppets. Uh, and the guys who did the voiceovers were two of the biggest voiceover guys in the Hollywood business. They were by far the wealthiest people involved with the show. They used to show up in Rolls Royce to work. <laughs> a nice awesome. gig. Awesome. All right. Here's the next one. Would you rather have to listen to Whip It by Devo on repeat for 24 hours straight or listen to Blinded Me with Science by Tommy Dombart on repeat? Uh, that's... that's uh, that's a great question because I love both of those songs, but um, I think I'd go for the blinded, blinded by science because uh, I, I like it just a little bit more. I love that song. I loved it when it came out. It's great, great tune. Great tune, great video, great everything. Science. All right. If you had to update Beekman for today's children, would you rather? Oh God. <laughs> Picture. There we go. Have have Beekman have a mohawk, or should Beekman have a mullet to relate to today's kids? <laughs> uh, oh, wow, that mullet, man. Who's rocking that mullet? Is that uh, you, oh, certain parts of the country? Uh, it, play, it plays uh, certain areas. Yeah, a lot of wrestlers too. <laughs> I'll go for the mohawk. Okay. I like it. I can see it. I can see it. All right. So we have one final one, Paul, and here it is. 
Would you rather have Neil Patrick Harris as one of your lab assistants or Lady Gaga? Huh. I, gosh, uh, I think Lady Gaga, um, I think she's a very interesting person and an interesting artist. And I, I think the same about uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Uh, I think he's a very gifted guy, very talented. But I think uh, Lady Gaga, I would be a little bit more Gaga about to, to, be <laughs> sure. to work with. Sure. Yeah, Gaga, you, your mohawk. It'll, it's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> 